Hey brother, well, uh, if you'd like, our next service is at 2 p.m. Saturday, and we have another one at 7 p.m. So, we'd be happy to have you to celebrate the Word of God. So, well, thank you. You have a wonderful day. this huge mess that became my issue. That's the least I could do. I saw the door open the trunk. I thought maybe something funny was going on. You look like a missionary. Well, good to know I'm looking pious today. Don't you usually walk around with partners? I have one. I see. I have these doubts. Could you come inside, please? I know a sign when I see one. Yeah, must be. You know, I walked around 20 miles today. Now this is the price for leading one soul to salvation. I suppose it got off quite a bit easier than Moses. What are your doubts? I don't know, really. Nothing to do with myself. Nothing at all. What'd you say? Nothing yet. <laughs> huh. Proverbs 26.17 teaches us that to meddle in others' affairs can be as foolish as grabbing a dog by the ears. What if it's somebody you live with? Somebody you know? Well, if it's a very serious matter, Romans 13 tells us that the law is God's law. But if it's not as serious of a dispute, maybe it's about his relationships or even his faith. It's not for us to intervene. It's God's place. So you'd let a friend, you know, just fade away like that? Just up and vanish? It's not how I would have handled it. And why is that? My roommate, he just seems lost. He refuses help. He thinks he's fine, but he's not. Maybe he's better. What's his name? Chris. Perhaps I could talk to you and Chris together. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm scared. Of Chris? Or something much bigger? Do you know what evil is? It's disobeying God. We know that. What makes a man evil? Well, a man might sin, but that Isn't doesn't... sin acting in your own self-interest, taking something from someone else, you know? Now, theft is wrong, but serving God is in your self-interest, and no one would argue that that is an evil act. Are you acting in your own self-interest right now? Oh, I forgot to get you an apple. It goes great with tea. No, thanks. Oh, okay. Tell me, what is it exactly, this evil, that you're talking about? Uh, it's my roommate, Chris. He hasn't been himself for a few weeks now, and he's been mumbling and saying things. And then I found him. He was sitting in his room, staring at the floor, like looking as if it wasn't even there. And then he looked up, like way up. I thought he was going to snap his neck. And then he saw this, and the look in his eyes. Possession. Absolutely. I didn't know what to do. He's gone now. I need to tell you now, you shouldn't have done anything. But I did! I did. I hope you can tell me I did the right thing. I think you already know the answer to that. I hope you believe me. It's not a question of belief. I wish you could answer that question for me. 
But I won't take that for myself. I can't. Perhaps this would be, uh, you should uh, talk to a counselor at my church. Uh, we also have our next service Saturday at 2 p.m. and another at 7 p.m. You have a blessed day. <laughs>